can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh. Oh. He needs some milk. I told you. This ain't it, Chief. That's what I would have told you. Okay guys, I'm back again with another video. Thank you for everybody that have been showing up, showing love, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this, is a, this is a drop fade video, man. And as you can see, I'm hitting them with a with a zero gap slime line pros. Or slim line pros, whatever, you, however you say it. Um, then you bought it out, man. It's just like, it's one of them things that that if you don't have a good balder, man, your fade would not look would not look good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going in ham, as you can see, man. Your boy been doing this for a while now. I'ma drop a video soon that uh, that shows the first time I cut hair uh, versus now and how far I came. You know what I'm saying? The wall lithium shavers right here, man. This a game changer, man. If you ain't got this, man, I don't know what you're doing with your barber, with your barber life, man. You gotta have a balder shaver, a good shaver. This wall one, I'd recommend for sure. For every clipper I use, I put it down right there on the bottom. You guys will see. I got the magic cordless right there. Cordless is a, this is my wave basically. Like without cordless, I don't know how. Like I used to use cords and they suck, man. Like. They, they get in the way, especially like if you don't, like if you're the top person that like to walk around and cut and not stand in one place and rotate the customer or the client. I like to, I like to rotate uh, sometimes, like for this video, for example, but I like walking better because um, it's just like, I'm not a top person. I like to stand in one spot, man. Like I don't like doing stuff like that. Like I like to walk around, man. I like to walk around. But right there, you, you, you after you use the, I skipped the, skip the stuff for y'all. But what I did was I opened the whole guard up and I went on for like each. You can see it's like a, a third of an inch or an inch, probably an inch, yeah. And then I came back with it like I just I just did on the, uh, with the clippers. I put it to half and I'm hitting it with the half right now. That's the half right there. And you're gonna see me close it up right there. See that? Close it up. Cause that's how you get that you get that drop uh, or that fade coming from the shaver to the one or to the zero open. And uh, yeah, you go around. And I like to I like to work all the way around. I don't like to do half and half. I used to do half and half till I started seeing the the difference. I started like like noticing how I'm not even it is from each side. Uh, even though it may look good still uh, Most of the time it's not even so I like to go all the way around all the way around and make sure everything is good This is a drop fade man, you know what time it is we've been doing this for a little while now So we gonna go quick with it. It got the one right there one open And uh there was somebody that was like uh, telling me to do uh, a fade down. I don't know if you guys know what that term is. Fade down is like whenever you start from the, so you shave the, you shave the line that you make at first or the bottom part, and after you hit them with the shaver, you basically work your way from up down, so you don't have to, like whenever you do these uh, step by step ones. Uh, he said that we usually tend to go a little higher than we was thinking about, which is kind of true sometimes. Uh, but if you've been in the game like me for a little while, you know, uh, you know what you're doing. But if you work from the up to, uh, to, to the bottom, I think it's easy. Right there, I close it up. I close the one up and I'm making sure I'm blending that in. Uh, blending in with the, with the flicker, with a flicker of your hand necessary. Uh, I used to not flick a lot, man. Flickering is, uh, is, is, is very, very, very key for uh, any cuts, man. But uh, yeah, drop down, fade or drop fade or not drop fade. Fading down is basically you work from the top. You start with a two or something. After you get your first line with the shaver, uh, you work down to like a zero basically. Yeah. 
I done it before, which came out pretty crispy. Actually, I was surprised by it, but uh, I'm gonna stick to this for a little while till uh, you know big moves start coming up. But right there, I put a one and a half. Or and a half is the one between two and a one. Um, right here is uh, it's just trying to work my, my 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 way up to the main the main hair, man. And he likes to draw a fade, not too high, you know. Uh, so making sure it's dropping, as you can see, it's, it's one of the cleanest drops in the game, man. Like, like really, man. And uh, right there is, uh, let's call it 0.5. I think it is one, one, uh, 30, 132 or something like that. Uh, guard that you usually have to buy on the side because it don't come with the, with the whole set. But I'm, I'm not sure because I bought this from a, uh, from a friend that was, that was doing a barber. Uh, so he kind of gave it to me. I don't know if it came with it with a whole thing or not, but uh, seems like it's a, something that comes with the cordless ones. But you want to work your way like that. But uh, usually, you might want to use different clippers based on the different hair length. Uh, right here is where I got to grab the two, and I'm about to work myself to to all the way up to the two, man. And as y'all can see, the blending is very crispy very nice the lighting is not the best yet i'm still trying to work my lighting and everything for now this is what i can do but soon uh i'm i'm copping some more lights and and making this a banger man it's just don't sleep on me man trust me it's gonna be one of the blown one of the upcoming channels y'all ever seen man it's gonna blow up like crazy and i respect the ogs i've been there since day one it's still like if you still subscribe right now you're gonna still be an og because we barely starting man this is just a start man um i'm, I'm thinking it, right there as y'all can see it's a different clipper i use that because uh some length of the hair you can't really get it man like you gotta have different clippers so you can and you gotta know your clippers for sure right here is when i start working on his hairline uh people pe pe people usually tend to uh put back people hairline i don't like doing that i just like to work on the same on the same thing that he has you know what i'm saying and uh Make sure that the, the whole lining is crispy and not. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the best part of haircut is as a hairline. Man. If you don't know how to work the hairline, uh, you're gonna have a lot of issues with clients because uh, clients usually like to look at the drop fade or the fade, but with the lineup is the first thing they see. First thing, first thing they see about the haircut is the lineup. But as you guys can see right here. I'm precisely hitting everything. I'm not really rushing to it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I like to work with clippers before I hit them with a shaver, man. Clippers, your know, clipper game got to be up, man. Because I used to not have a shaver, and that's what I used to do. Just clip, just clips, bro, right? and, and, and T-liners. That's what I had. And and I got I got pretty good with it, you know what I'm saying, without a shaver. And whenever I put the shaver on his head, bro, like, it's a wrap, man. Y'all see, y'all seen a bit. But, yeah, man. <laughs> right here, when I started hitting his uh, his beard, that's how I like to start, man. Just because uh, whenever it's like, whenever you do what I'm doing right there, man, it's just like you'll see the blend in, maybe may, may, may uh, uh, more crispier. And you know how far to go with the... With, the, with just the zero, it's kind of like a guideline basically with the zero, how far I can go down so that I can see the blend going in. And you don't want the blend to go all the way down. You want, he wanted the blend to just be up top, just fading it in and then, sh uh, and then sharpen it up. But watch this beard game change, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not one of the OGs that have been in the game for a while, but I've been in the game for a while to where I know what I'm doing, man. Y'all stick with me, man. Y'all learn a lot of things. Look at that fade, man. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? What better thing can you ask, you know? Like a fade like that, man, with a beard that I'm about to hook it up, man. Y'all sleeping on me, man. Hit that sub, bro. Hit that sub, man. Like, share, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta even share, just comment down. That's it. That's the easiest way to share, man. Watch this change, man, transformation, man. Look at that beard fade in, man. 
Like a lot of people won't show y'all how to do these things. A lot of people will help hold back uh, their little secrets and ingredients and the, the things that they use, man. I don't hold back on anything. I let you know because uh, starting the game, I wanted the real things. You know, I want to hear the real things from the real people, man. And shout out to uh, uh, a lot of people that that started the YouTube uh, uh, journey and stuff like that for barbers and stuff like that, man. We upcoming, man. Barber, the barber community is gonna be uh, one of the blowing up community, man. Just cause, just cause we have a a, a lot of like stage to uh, to use to impact, man. It's just like it's not about just cutting somebody's hair, but to having that relationship, talking with them, man. Just getting to know them, helping them out through the day, and. To me, it's like me helping you help me because, you know what I'm saying, I, I find out what my destiny is and that, you know, it's like I'm destined to help somebody out, to help people out, to help, you know what I'm saying, children of God, you know what I'm saying, like, and finding that purpose is a big thing, one of the big things in my life, and I did, and I'm transforming lives I'm, as I'm transforming lives, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> doing both at the same time, man. But yeah, right here I'm working with the with the Zero Gap uh, Slimline Pros, and yeah, making sure everything is crispy. Y'all see the beer game, you know what I'm saying? Stuffed it up, man. Stuffed it up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, based on the people's preference, you work on that beer, man. Some people don't like the neck, the neck to be that high, like towards the chin. Some people like it like that. Yeah, man. And getting rid of the side hairs, the little hairs that be growing around the neck, around the face and stuff is necessary, man. To having the clean look that they need to see. Because I want to, I want to, you know what I'm saying? Once I, when I cut you, man, I want you to look at your face and be like, dang, man. Like, what, 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 what's up, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I, when I got uh, my haircut after, for a year, I didn't get a haircut on my senior year literally because i moved to a different place and i, I couldn't find a barber that they really know how to that I really knew how to cut and i remember finding one and i paid 30 30 dollars something like that and man that boy hooked me up man and i looked at my face i was like my goodness i was like jesus i didn't know a haircut could make your face change like that man but y'all see that drop fade man clean look man y'all ain't see no line up in there bro you know what i'm saying Appreciate the love. Stay tuned for more bangers coming up. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, God bless. I'm out.